what was your, if you had to, if you had to pinpoint it, ballpoint it, not to obsess over the Palin thing, but what would you say was the <laughs> You and number, all of America. What would you say was the number one most challenging thing about working with her? It was when she started to go rogue. Right, um, for real. You know, she for really real. did. That's not and, a joke. And it wasn't like, um, listen to me, I'm some important staffer. No staffer's important. We are the people that you literally drive the bus over and we're dispensable. But, you know, it was when she sort of didn't really care what, like, McCain thought yeah. anymore. I'm like, oops, you know, he would be the president, you know. Right, right. So that got a little dicey. But, um... It was totally legit, I gotta say, in her defense, for her to be mad at me. You know, I, I was making decisions about who should interview her, the interviews didn't go well, so that was right. a totally fair game for her to be mad at. When was about. the last time you were in contact with her? Oh, I haven't talked to her since the morning after Election Day. I remember it vividly. She was in a t-shirt by the pool at the Biltmore, and I said, you know, the days after the campaign can be really ugly. I think she took that to mean, like, I'm coming after you. She writes about right. it in her book. I just meant, like, you know, we all lost, everyone right. will call us all idiots. Um, but I, she writes about that scene in, the, in her book too. That you know, wow. so so that was last morning I saw her. It's crazy. It's yeah. amazing.